Uganda is the second largest producer and consumer of banana in the whole world, just after India. Now, why did we decide to work with banana fiber? We decided to work with banana fiber because of number one, the advantage that Uganda is a country as, uh, which is being one of the largest producer and then the consumer of banana in the whole world. Now, this leaves us with millions of tons as waste because banana grows once and harvests once. So after harvesting, then the stem is a waste. Now, because of that waste, our farmers are struggling a lot with this waste because they, also, they only hunt from the fruit, and then the fruit is sometimes sold as low as one US dollar. extract fiber threads from the seashells of the stem. So we dry it like you can see here, we sort it, get the dirt out of, the dirt out of it, package it and save it. So our, our, our contribution in the value chain is that we put extra income in the hands of the farmer. We turn this, this waste into something valuable that we sell to our partners who also make things that they can sell. We are doing this to create extra income, to create employment for ourselves and contribute to the industrialization of Uganda and betterment of the lives of Uganda. Now the products which we get out of banana fiber, like I said, banana fiber itself is a product. And then two, we have the banana fiber rugs, which are products that come out of banana fiber. We have handicrafts, which we have made out of banana fiber. Talk about the lamb sheds, you know. Those are the kind of the handicrafts which has come out of banana fiber. Air extensions, which is biodegradable, out of banana fiber. It is also what we have worked on. Now, Banana fiber can be softened to a level of a cotton. It's what right now we're working on, to come up with a banana fiber fabric. The problem with synthetic fibers, they clog, they, they do so much clogging. Like everywhere you go, even if you want to dig in the gardens right now, 
you'll find synthetic fibers around. So it's not environmentally friendly. Now this compared to this, this is biodegradable. So it can, it can rot in the soil. It doesn't stop water going through our soil, unlike this. We have a lot of people who are farming bananas. It's, it's a staple of food in the country. So when they have ways of actually gaining from it more, it, it brings out something that, it brings out excitement from people that they can actually get something more than food from what they actually eat. So I guess most of our clients are happy about it and really excited for it.